What's up, chef? So today we are going to make a butternut squash tartatang. So first, we are going to prepare our butternut squash. I peeled it already and removed the seeds. And now we're going to divide it into quarters. And we're going to slice it thinly. Now that we've cut up our butternut squash, let's move on to the caramel. What I'm making now is a dry caramel. Basically, I just put the sugar into the pan and let it dissolve by itself without adding any water. With making a dry caramel, you need to stir consistently to avoid it burning. So make sure you stir it. Add some butter. What we have here is a very buttery caramel. We're gonna leave this for him on the side for a bit and we're gonna continue with our cartouche. Cartouche. It's basically baking paper that you put underneath the pan to avoid the caramel and just sticking into the pan. So you're making sort of like a triangle. like so and you measure the tip should be in the middle of the pan like that so that's where you want to cut or rip what it comes a circle put onto your pan my caramel has crystallized a bit but it's okay, it's going to melt again when I bake it, so put this underneath. This is why you want to cut your butternut squash pretty thinly because basically it's going to be cooked at the same time as your puff pastry. And as we all know, puff pastry literally needs 15 minutes to cook, so make sure by that time it's the butternut squash will also be cooked. Now we have here this arranged. Don't forget to season with a little bit of salt. We all know caramel and salt goes well together. And now, lastly, puff pastry. Measure your puff pastry through the pan so you'll know where to cut. Kind of like and just push it all the way down and it's going to cut by itself. Now we're gonna push it down. Use your knife, the tip of it, and just make a couple holes to make sure that there is an air ventilation going on. Okay, now I'm gonna refrigerate this for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna bake it. This has been chilling in the fridge for about 10 minutes so we're gonna put it in the oven now for about 15 minutes now what we do here is basically just pop it in there Whoops. and rearrange it going straight to the plate We're gonna garnish it with some cream cheese, some rosemary, and there you go. You have yourself a butternut squash tartatang, very full of caramel, a bit salty as well. Try yourself. <laughs>